First step, remove three screws. They have a 5.5 millimeter head. They're under the column. There's a whole one. There's one. They're deep. So once you get the three screws out, it's like two pieces here. Clamshell. It'll pop out. Top half and then the bottom half you and there's the bottom half. Put the lever down for the uh, adjustable column steering wheel, and then this will stop pass so just push down. Once you get the plastic uh, shroud removed, do any of the wire Remove any of the wiring clips. Should be three, but one here, another one here. I have a remote starter, so I have an extra plug here, the T harness, and the Pat's cable, which starts from this side of the steering wheel. So you got to remove all the wiring harness from the steering column. This tab right in here. Push that down and it will come out. Okay, these are all the connectors unplugged. Everything should just uh, hang down like this. So no wires attached to the steering column. And you're going to keep this out of the way. So the two next bolts are T, two T45s, one is right here, and the other one is right there. T45, This is what holds the steering wheel up, so make sure you keep a hold on it. And it will just slide out. There it is. And as you can see, it just slides into this collar. It only goes in one way. So you don't have to worry about indexing it. And now the fun part is going in there. Got to remove this steel bracket. It has four 10 millimeter bolts. So just remove the four 10 millimeter bolts holding the steel bracket in. Attach with a piece of foam. And it's clipped onto something. There we go. So that's that piece. And that's where the bolts go, the 10 millimeter bolts. There. There and there. There is the power steering control module, and it's attached to the, which is the motor here. So it's a 13 millimeter bolt that pivots for this uh, steering column, for the adjustable steering column. There's one bolt. And before you do that, you got to disconnect the wiring. 
leave the yellow you leave the yellow one alone you're gonna have three connections on the bottom here actually two one is the yellow so that one you leave alone don't disconnect it there's gonna be two more connectors This is the unit I pulled off, pulled out from the, the wreckers. And these are the wire connections underneath the uh, power steering control module. And these are the connectors. So this is just pull here. And this is the main power feed. Pressing the tab and well, can't do it with one hand, and okay, this one is the one you leave alone. That's your torque converter connection, and this is the uh, high speed can connection with the power feed. And you have to remove this winding harness clip, this pulls out. Also called a Christmas tree plug. Now at the records I just cut it out because it was easier. And this is the back of the unit. This connects to the the wreck and pinion. And there is a pinch bolt clamp holding onto this, 13 millimeters. There's a long bolt and you take it off from here. It's a 13 millimeter bolt, but it's hidden. It's a pain in the ass to get it out if you have some kind of a ratchet power ratchet to unscrew it or else you're taking very little turns there's not much room to get your hand movement in there and also you're probably going to have to detach these two wiring harness clips here and here so you can have more room once this is loose you can uh, drop it see how it goes for you so now there's a bolt that this pivots on. See how this goes up and down? That's for adjustable steering column. And there's one bolt on this bracket here. That is impossible to see or feel, but if you look down here, and this is part of the steel structure support, if you look down this valley, You can actually see the bolt. Let me see here. And if you can see it, there it is. And it's a 13 millimeter bolt. Try to use a micro ratchet because you only have so much movement to get your hand in there so you can see so I'm putting my wrench in there so I got going in there and visually trying to see when I get into it and to unscrew it. It's a long bolt, but doesn't have that many threads. Uh, after about an inch or two it comes out, it'll just slide out. So that's my next job. So now I have my socket on it, on that bolt, and I'll try to show you. over there and like I said not much movement it'll probably slip out a few times so just I think once I loosen it 
I have an air ratchet, but my air ratchet is too big to get in there. But I have those uh, DeWalt. I can put on my drill the angle uh, driver. Not sure if I have room to get it all in there though. So, see how best you can do it, but this one's a pain in the neck, and the next one is also a pain in the neck, the one that's uh, behind the power steering control module. So that's the bolt that came out. It's only so many threads that it'll have to feed, feed off of. It's not using all of these. You can feel which ones. It's over here. And you can actually see this bolt through this uh, valley in the opposite end of this valley. So the power steering motor and the control mo module is free in here, but it's attached still to one bolt to the rack, which I don't know if I can catch it in here. It's another 13 millimeter bolt. It's a pinch bolt. And this one's going to be a pain to get at. And probably reinstall. I can't see it there. It's right behind here. Let me see if I can get the camera inside there. There it is. That's a 13 millimeter nut. And you loosen that or get, take it off completely. And it will supposedly just, it supposedly just slides off. You might have to pry it out with a screwdriver off the uh, shaft. Here's another look at that bolt. It's right there. So use a longer handle, get more torque, it's really on tight. So that pinch bolt is removed. So I took it all out. And hopefully it's not, hopefully it'll just slide out of that U-joint. Uh, Try it with one hand, so I can tape it. And some wiring harnesses in your way, so a little bit of maneuvering. Okay, it doesn't want to come out of that U joint. So I'm just going to go with the screwdriver and pry this out. When I took it out of the records, it came out easy. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, I pried it off that U-joint. Uh, As you can see, there's that pinch bolt. Well, not the bolt, but pinch portion. So now I was just trying to get it out of here. Move around the harness. Probably going towards the front of the car and out. And there is the power steering control motor and unit out of the Ford Escape. So this is the unit I got out of the wreckers. And I remember the wreckers, the steering wheel was turned slightly to the right. So just going to make sure I can get that into that... Um, pinch bracket. And this was the setup I took out that pinch bolt. It's a long half inch handle with a half inch to three inch, inch adapter and a 13 millimeter three inch socket. That gave it enough leverage to undo that pinch bolt. So this is the one from the wrecker. I have to match this um, 
whatever you want to call it, pivot, no, stub, for the pinch bolt, no, it is notched on one side for the pinch bolt to go through, and when I was at the Wreckers, it was pointing to the right side a little bit, the string, and I couldn't change it because there's no keys to unlock the string wheel, so I'm trying to match mine over there, and you can see set up like that so all I did was with a wrench it's actually easy to turn it's not so easy with your hand so if you get a wrench on it it's easy to turn so all I did was try to line it up to what I had on my car which is that, and almost probably a little bit more that way. Now the steering wheel will only go in in one way, so if you have a hard time, try to widen the gap here, and maybe spray get some lube in there.